hello. Have you seen my electrons? I seem to have lost them from my whiskey. Hello and welcome to the Whiskey Trials, where today we're going to have a whiskey talk on the changes in whiskey once you open it. Um, what it's all about, what people call it, the sort of, we'll get into a bit of the chemistry. Um, I thought this might be a bit of a, an easy video to make. I thought, yeah, you know, five minutes, we'll get this done, we'll talk about it, and we'll talk about how you can avoid it, all the rest of it. No, it's, it's, there's so much to this, so I'm going to really try and cram it in. But, you know, grab a coffee, or a cup of tea, or better yet, a wee dram. It's a bit early in the morning for me, but um, here we go. Okay, so, we know that whiskey changes. As whiskey drinkers, we know that whiskey changes when we open it. Why is that? Okay, and why why is it that some uh, whiskies tend to go one way and some the others? For instance, um, there's been a few bottles I've had uh, offhand. So the the Glendronach Portwood uh, was was so much better on the neck pour, and the first half of the bottle was so much nicer. And once it had a bit of air time, which is what I call it. It, something happened to it, something changed, and, I, and it, I didn't like it. And there's been a few others like that as well. I think maybe this Glenleash 14. I've had this for a while. Definitely enjoyed this at the beginning. The, the Mortlich 12. Fantastic first dram out of that. I was just like, wow, this is like so much better than Glendronach. And then it's it's changed a little bit. Um, Tamdu 12 as well. That was quite similar. So these are, these are some examples of um, some that I've had. There's others as well that uh, have, I for me anyway, worsened over time. Like the flavour has changed over time to its detriment. Now, I think that they're they're quite rare. Those bottles, for the most part, I, I find a lot of people saying, "Yeah, give it some air time, give it some air time," um, or let it oxidise. But we'll 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 get to the uh, oxidisation um, part in a bit. Uh, this is one of the best examples of a whiskey that needs some air time. So this is the, the Buna Haven Sturadur and that, when you first pour it, it's a distinctly kind of average to kind of good dram. Once that's been opened and it's been left to sit with a bit of air in the bottle, that turns into an absolutely fabulous dram. Um, much more akin to the 12. And initially you're like, wow, it's just so far away from the 12. But then give it a bit of airtime and it's it's much more like the 12. So that, that's a really good example of one that seems to improve over time. Um, so <laughs> why does it happen? What and, and, and the the what the whiskey people, the whiskey folk tend to call it is oxidization. Or if you're in America, oxidation. See, I didn't even realise there was like a different term for it in America, really, or a different sort of spelling. Anyway, so, oxidisation or oxidation. What is it? Okay, so, oxidisation or oxidation. It's not necessarily involving oxygen. It was historically, because that's, I think, how it was discovered. Um, but now, it can be a reaction from other things, other molecules. And originally, oxygen caused electron loss um, in a molecule. So now it's a much more general term. So oxidization or oxidation is when an atom, molecule, or ion loses one or more of its electrons. So are electrons being lost from your precious whiskey? Are we losing electrons left, right, and center? Well, apparently, Studies have been done by scientists, actual proper lab coat people. Um, they've tested bottles that haven't been opened versus ones that have been opened. And apparently the whiskey is the same. So I guess they've done some kind of molecular test and they say that it is identical. So does that debunk the, the thought of electrons being lost? If so, does that mean oxidization or oxidation isn't happening? once a bottle has been, uh, or once a whiskey has been bottled. Now it's said that oxidization or oxidation plays quite a, a large role 
in the whisky making process. It is said that it helps to break down the complex alcohol molecule uh, in maturation. So when the new make goes into the barrel, apparently the, the oxygen or the air in there helps break down the complex uh, alcohol molecules, which we find a bit more unpalatable. But it's also said that it's the oak tannins that do this. So which one has the more impact? I'm kind of leaning towards the oak tannins, but I ain't no chemist and I ain't no distiller. So if you are, comments below on, on what you think about that. The other point in the uh, sort of whiskey making process where they say uh, oxidization might be helpful is the sort of vathing process. Uh, and putting like a bunch of, you know, casks into one big vat and sort of blending them together it helps marry the different casks together, you know, giving them a bit of air or oxygen. So it, it is purported to be an important factor in the whiskey making uh, process, but is it an important factor once the whiskey's in the bottle? Um, does it have any effect? Well, scientists. I think are saying no, the whiskey is exactly the same. So can we safely say that oxidization and oxidation is the wrong term to be using when we talk about the whiskey changing? Because something's happening. Um, it's just a bit of a gray area from what I can what I can read. Um, but again, if you if you've got any really great articles or anything that completely explain this, uh, post them below. That'd be great. So even if oxygen does play a part in the sort of breakdown somehow of the alcohol or electrons being released it does seem to be a very very slow process so it doesn't seem like that's the right term to be using when we talk about the change in in an open bottle when it happens or, or it can happen almost immediately you know you're talking about like a neck pour being something different from subsequent pours so that gets me to another term, uh, another chemistry term, dissipation. So when you pour a whiskey and, you know, somebody can smell it from across the room, that's because molecules are escaping and flowing about the room. And that's called dissipation. So there is a, a chemical change that is happening and molecules from your whiskey are escaping throughout, throughout the room. So is that what's happening within the bottle? So every time I open this, the air gets changed, that's getting refreshed right now, and there's a bit of dissipation happening, and that's changing the whiskey. Is that what's happening? It's not, it's not uh, oxidization, it's dissipation. As whiskey drinkers, I think we're all aware of dissipation, even if we don't know the actual uh, sort of technical term or the chemistry that's happening. Um, because, well, quite a lot of us like our whiskey coins, which we use to stop that effect. Or to hold in those flavours a little bit longer, so when you eventually take this off, you get a, you get a burst of those uh, flavours and smells, uh, rather than them dissipating throughout the room. So, you know, a handy thing to have. So, if you, would, if you don't have one of my coins yet, head over to thewhiskeytrials.com slash shop and uh, they're all there. Um, still got a few of them, th few of the batch one left, so that'd be great and thanks for your support if you could do go and buy one. Now back to the video. So dissipation seems like it's much more of the effect to me than oxidization. So I kind of think that oxidization is a bit of a whiskey myth when it comes to um, whiskey that, that's been bottled and is, you know, being stored with a, a bit of air in it. Um, I just don't think there's enough happening there um, to, to, to warrant any kind of change in the whiskey. And I think, you know, there's been actual science that, that's, that's proven that. I think what will uh, change, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is a difficult thing because Essentially what we're saying between oxidization and dissipation is uh, so oxidization is a reaction with oxygen with the alcohol, which I'm not sure is really happening that much. 
and, and dissipation is the actual alcohol just reacting um, with the air. And it's just, you know, it's a volatile substance, so it's, it's losing molecules. Um, and I think, I think dissipation, the act of the whiskey, um, because it's vol a volatile nature, ejecting molecules, I think that is much more what's happening when a bottle's opened. So, bottle's opened, I pour it, I'm refreshing this air, it's dissipating as it happens, so it's slightly changing every time. And I think what adds to that, what sort of, not necessarily proves it, but what adds to that argument is, is what I was just saying about having, you know, your, your glass of whiskey. If you don't cover it with a whiskey coin, it changes much more rapidly. Um, that's why we like our whiskey coins, because then we can taste the, the, the varying stages and we don't miss anything. So oxidization feels like a bit of a whiskey myth to me, and it feels like it's much more about dissipation. Um, I think if there is any oxidization happening, I think it's over a very uh, long, long sort of time period. Um, and I, I even question the 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 oxidization changing the whiskey in the actual maturation process. I'd like to see some more scientific evidence on that. Dissipation, however, I think is is the is the key here. It's what is having the biggest effect. It's not it's not so let's just recap. Oxi oxidization is the effect that oxygen or another chemical in the air is having on the whiskey. I don't think that's necessarily happening. I think dissipation, because whiskey is a volatile liquid, it is just losing its own molecules. It's not because of the oxygen. It's just throwing these molecules out there because it's a volatile substance. So every time we open the bottle, pour it, we're refreshing the, uh, the oxygen in here. So, you know, that would maybe add credence to the oxidization. I don't think so. But what is happening is as soon as I open this, the volatile nature of, of the whiskey means that it's losing stuff straight away. I know it is because I can smell it as soon as I open it. So there's molecules being lost right now. So with the act of pouring it and all the rest of it, it's coming closer to the, the lip. So it's, it's obviously changing it. I think that is much more the case. And that's why whiskey changes as we drink it. One of the reasons I made this video was because I've got so many open bottles here with a tiny amount of whiskey left in them. The reason being was that I wanted to review them at some stage. But recently, because I've been thinking about this, I've been getting worried that they've oxidized and changed. So how can I give them a fair review? Um, I, I, I'm now thinking that I've kind of debunked the whole oxidization thing. Um, I've never really used that as a term anyway. I've always said airtime. So it does kind of feel more uh, like it's the, it's, it's the dissipation that is the key here. That's the thing that really changes the, the whiskey, not oxidization. Is there much dissipation happening in a bottle with all that headspace? I don't know. I mean, if I'm not opening it and that's not escaping and then it's dissipating and filling the, the bottle again, then surely it should be okay. So I'm thinking I might be all right, but I think in the future to be safe, I'm going to start using these. So if I get to the point where I've, I've, I've got down to the bottle and it's the last few drams, but I don't intend on reviewing it right there and then, I think I'm going to put it in a little sample bottle and seal it all up and tuck it away. Not only because, well, it gives me much more storage on my shelf for full bottles, which can only be a good thing. Right, that was quite a complicated video. There's a lot of chemistry in there and I ain't no chemist, like I said. And actually, I didn't even do chemistry at school until I didn't even take it as like a standard grade. Um, I kind of wish I did now. I was much more of a biology person. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to finish there. I would love your comments on this, um, your thoughts. Is oxidization a myth? 
Um, have we debunked it? Is it much more about dissipation? Uh, tell me your, uh, your whiskies that change, the ones that you find were better at the start or the ones that were much better after a bit of airtime. So, well, cheers guys and look forward to your comments.